it's best for Nardi here. Today we are going to make an abstract art generator in Scratch. So go to Scratch and sign in. Type in your username and password. And then go to create. And here we are in the Scratch workspace. This is the area where you build the code. Over here is the stage. These characters are called sprites. And down here is where you place your sprites. And then actually over here on the side are the backdrops the different backgrounds for the stage. So we're going to save this. Let's call this abstract art. I'm going to go up here to the top to the bar and type in here abstract art. And I'm going to call this version one in case I make a seven second one and I decide that I'm going to you know, keep going and trying different things. It does save automatically, but you know, if you start changing things, you might want to give it another name so that you don't lose something you really like. Okay, so now we need, we're going to draw with a brush that is invisible. So we're going to mouse over the little cat pet sprite down here and click on the paintbrush. And this creates an invisible sprite. Over here on the left, you see the costume area where you can change the color or um, alter parts of your sprite. That's a whole nother very cool paint lesson. Um, we're going to go up to code and click on it. And now we're going to start building the code to make our art generator move. So we need a event block. Those are stored under the yellow um, circle here, the event. And this is going to start when space key pressed. So click and drag that over. And then we need to find a pen because we need to make this draw. Um, the pens are an extension. So come down here on the far left under this code extension block and click on it. And here are the pens. So click on that, and that will add it to your menu. And then we need to tell the computer to put the pen down and start drawing. So click on pen down and drag it, and you'll see they lock right together. OK. Next, we need to get it to draw with a color. So we're going to find the set pen color to and we're going to drag that over. All right. And then we're going to have it be a variable so that it's not always drawing in the same color. So the those um, choices are under operators. So click on this green dot and then grab pick random. And you're going to bring that over and hover over that white circle and it's going to highlight and then it's going to click in there. All right, so the colors go from 0 to 99. So let's try all the colors. Highlight the white box and then you can click in there and change the number. Okay. The next thing is we want it to draw with a random size because variety just makes things more interesting. So let's go and pick set pen size. Click on the pen and find set pen size to all right. And now we need that same random pick random. So that's under operators. 
and we're going to say pick a random size from 5 to 15. So click in this white circle and type in 5. Click in the next one and put 15. Okay. And then we're going to see what happens. Okay. So when space key is, well, first of all, we got to get rid of this cat. Um, so when I click down here, you can see the cat sprite will highlight. Click on that and then click on the trash can to get rid of him. Um, when click on this green flag and then that's one way to start. But Okay, so I'm drawing and my colors are just changing, but it's not moving forward. It's not, it's all in the same place. So we need to get a motion block to move it off that spot. You have to tell the computer everything because it's just a box that doesn't know. So um, let's go and get a blue motion block. Click over here on motion. And let's say move steps. Okay. And now let's find a pick random. So we go back to operators and grab pick random and highlight that little white circle and drop it in there. And then we're going to change this from 1 to 30. And we're going to change the 10 to 70 by clicking in that white box and then typing in there. All right, so now let's see what happens when I press the space bar. Oops, click the flag. All right, so it's going, but it's only going in a straight line. But you can see it is changing size and changing color. Great, we're, we're almost there. All right, and then we want it to turn because it's hit the edge of the page and now it's kind of stuck. So the turn code is under motion. So click on the blue motion dot and then you can either turn right or turn left. So click on one of those, click on turn 15 degrees to the right and drag that over. And then we need another pick random. So we're going to go to operators and click on the green dot and drag over pick random, hover over that white spot and drop it in there. And we're going to change this from 1 to 90 degrees. So click in that second box and put 90. Okay. So now when I press the space bar, let's see what happens. Okay. So now I am actually drawing here, but every time it moves, I have to press the space bar. So wouldn't it be cool if it moved by itself? All right, so if you want something to happen by itself, you're going to need a forever loop. And the forever loop is underneath control. So come over here to the orange dot, click on that, and that will pull up forever. And then we don't need the pen to be down forever because the pen's already down. So we're going to hover over and see how it highlighted gray around all that code. We're going to drop the forever loop in there. And then we're going to click the space bar and see what happens. And now it is drawing forever. <laughs> So awesome job, we've got it that far. Now, if you want to stop it, you can actually click this stop sign up here. All right, so now we want to write some code that will stop it from going, because you can see it's filling up the screen. 
So if you want to stop it and start fresh, we're going to need to clear the screen. So we're going to start some new code underneath here, and we're going to need another event block. We're going to choose when green flag clicked and drag it down there. And then we are going to go back to the pen, click on the pen, and find the erase all. Click on that and drag it over. All right. So now when you click on the green flag, it should erase everything. When you click on the space bar, it should start the drawing. Awesome job, guys. You've just created your next program. All right, so you can play around with the numbers and see how that affects your generator. Um, so you, if you want to, you can pause and do that. And also, the next thing we're going to do is click on See Project Page. And in here, um, you will see, this is the screen that your viewers will see. And then over here is where you can type in instructions. So we're going to type in, press the space bar. To begin the program. Press the green flag. To erase your work. and start over. All right, down here is a space for credits if you're doing a remix of somebody else's work. And then make sure that you share your program. So let me click here and okay. I, it doesn't show anything because I'm not like in there. So let me go back here a second. We can make it prettier. I'll start it and let it fill up some of my screen. And I'm going to stop it there and look at the project page. And now you can see actually some of my work. Okay, which makes it a lot more interesting. And make sure you click share so that we can all see it and comment. Okay, great. Congratulations on sharing your project. Other people can try out, it out now, give comments, and remix it. Super. All right, so now we're going to make some changes and work on a copy. But first, we want to make sure we save our first version. So we are going to go back. And we're going to go up here to File and Save as a Copy. All right, and now it says Abstract Art Version 1 Copy. So. Here we can change that to version 2. Okay. So now we're going to make begin to make some changes and see what, what we can create here. All right. So now we're going to play with the colors. And we're going to go over and get a pen block. And we're going to set pen color and drag it over here underneath the original set pen color. 
And the first thing that we're going to do is play with the brightness. So if you click on this down arrow, you will see brightness and click on that and then pick a variable. So we need, uh, I'm sorry, an operator. We want to change it. So you need to pick random and you're going to drag that and drop it in here. And then you can pick a different parameter for your color. So if you want it brighter, um, you can pick between 50 and 100. So let's try that. And let's see how that changes our thing. So, okay, and I'm going to stop it. All right. And now we will um, try adjusting some of the other variables. So under set pen is also saturation. And we're going to grab another, actually one of those. So go to the pen, get pet <laughs> set pen color, drag that underneath. And then you're going to click on the down arrow and choose saturation. Okay, so now we need another random block. And we're going to go over here. And if I pick random, hover over 50 and drop it there. You can really pick any number between 0 and 100. Um, but if it's below 50, it's very dark. So. I don't, if I don't want it that dark, I'll have to pick a number above that. So let's pick 50 to 100. All right. And then you will see how you can see how that's changing what it's drawing now. All right. So make sure that you go up to share. And we're going to write inside here that it's the same code. Okay. And if you're going to work on it some more, remember you can go back to see inside, file, save as a copy, and change this name to version three. And Make sure that you save your work for next time because we'll be adding some paint splats and you can actually keep working on this one if you want and add backgrounds and different things um, and, you know, have fun with it. That's your assignment for this week and we'll be adding to it. So make sure you save one and we'll see you in class online.